Buddy Manning here. Welcome to the Garn Report After Hours. And it is that time of year, Josue. It's late here, but yes. we keep on rolling, talking about the Celtics 126, 110 win over the Pacers, which amazingly enough, wins some six wins from a championship here, two wins from the finals. That was a big thing Jalen Brown talked about after this tremendous game for him 40 points on 50% shooting. Uh, Jason Tatum got going late. And had a good game as well. Nine for 20 here after a slow start. Uh, and the Celtics are up 2 nothing in this series. In large part because of Brown, his ability to play with pace, his ability to play consistently, the defensive uh, plays he made in this game. Only a day after getting snubbed in the All-NBA vote, falling just short of that 15th and final spot. Uh, we've talked a lot about him. we said plenty on the post-game show. But you do start to wonder here, and the big question after this with Tatum having some more inconsistent scoring results in the playoffs is whether or not uh, he can lead this team on any given night. Can you start to put the ball in his hands more, have him command this offense? Because that's what we saw here tonight. I think that's what's going to happen organically if it continues, right? If Tatum continues to struggle to find his shot or find consistency in, in the offense, then we're going to see this happen more often. But I don't think this is a sense of, oh, this has to change the Southern's game plan moving forward. Like, oh, he has to be the – the primary focus. I, I just think Jones really goes into every game reading how the defense is going to go and then seeing how it how it plays out throughout the course of the game. Does it free up Tatum? Does it, you know, do you keep going to Jalen? I think what he's doing right now is, is is exactly what you're supposed to do, not knowing what Rick Carlisle has, you know, prepared for game to game on a game by game basis, especially when it looks like he's probably not going to have Halliburton in game three. So if you're the Celtics, I mean, you just stay the course. You don't switch up. I love what Jalen Brown had to say after the game. Well, many things, but one of the things that stood out was like when he's asked about patients pulling their starters in crunch time, he's like, yeah, it's a little weird, but we're still focused on what we're doing that that's not going to affect us in the sense of Joe Mazzula pulling his stars, which clearly he didn't until like inside the final minute or final couple of minutes, uh, which allowed Jalen to get those 40 points, which tied it. A playoff career high and, and scoring but yeah i mean is it a benefit is it a is, is he benefiting the most off of that type of coverage on tatum yeah absolutely but i don't think you switch things up i think you continue to do what was essentially got you here and you ride the hot hand when you get a chance you know when jalen gets the ball he's gonna do what he does picking his spots i i think joe mazula trusts him and continue to do something like that so you don't you don't switch things up the matchup makes sense to the fit in this series the pace yeah. they want to play at it all works in brown's favor and you would have been smiling ear to ear if you picked him in prize picks tonight we did I know, not oh man we went tatum i went tatum but we've had our good nights recently you're gonna we, have well we slept on the, the the snub like that was a big part i mean i think jalen has a, a a great game two performance regardless but Took it, took it to another level. He made it. He made it see. He made it to a point where it price picks it wasn't even close. Like you had to say more uh, when you pick a Jalen Brown. Maybe I'll do that for Game Three. Of course, if you want to do that next game, head over to PricePicks.com. Right. CLNS. Use that code CLNS for our hundred percent matching bonus up to a hundred dollars. Of course, want to shout out as well as the series turns to Indiana game time. If you're going to be out there, if you live there, want to see the Celtics play, great app. Deals up to. And even after uh, the buzzer, another good night to get in the garden here tonight. Some great deals last minute there on game time. They're giving you $20 off your first purchase when you use our code CLNS, of course. Terms apply. And back to Jalen, uh, you have to love the approach right now because he's just putting his head down. He didn't want to talk too much about the snub tonight. Uh, but I did ask Jason to reflect a little bit on his uh, voice because we're hearing it, right, in yeah. the mic up. We're hearing him post game try to get Tatum going. He's just been the voice of this team in many ways in terms of setting an urgent tone night in and night out. And Jason uh, reacted to that here, uh, talking post game about Jalen's voice. How important is Jalen's voice? Obviously, his play has been big, but his voice, you know, becoming more vocal. I know, you know, in one of the games you struggled early in the playoffs, he was like, Jason found his rhythm. We got to see him find his rhythm even more. Has he kind of been in your ear for a lot of this playoff run, motivating you and pushing you? Like, what's what's this voice been like for you and the team? Yeah, I think uh, it's important for every guy um, in that locker room to to speak up, right? We all respect each other, uh, and that comes from trust. We we see the work that everybody puts in every single day, and the growth from you know whenever your first year here was until now. Um, the growth and development of, of every single guy. And we have that environment where, um, you know, everybody has a voice from the, 
the top guy to, you know, the last man on the bench, right? We all in this together. Um, you need to encourage somebody, do so. If you see something that we're doing wrong, you know, it's your job to speak up. And how does that help you when a guy like him does try to motivate you or anybody on the team, really, like you said? Uh, it's just like having 15 brothers or so, right? We all um, spend so much time together. Uh, we, we're trying to accomplish something special. So we, uh, we are all in this together. We've talked about it at length at this point, but now that we've heard it a couple of times here, what do you make of the comments there? Especially, again, I circle back on it, try to get them to address it directly, and I understand maybe why they don't want to do it yeah. um, if they're just trying to emphasize the voices team or the team's voice over individual voices here. But in a moment like this where he saved them in game one, Brown did, and in many ways saved them tonight, I like to see him propped up a little bit more. Yeah, I get it. I mean, I'm, it surprises me if I'm being completely honest, but at the same time when you're at – this moment in the playoff run, and like you said, you know, six wins away, you know, I, I can I can get why Tatum would want to just focus on the team. You know, let's not pinpoint exactly how we got here or Jalen, you know, what he's been doing lately. But it's still weird to me because you have to remember we talked about how after valuable game one. it is to have a teammate like that. So, like, I also think it's equally as important to. Give them his flowers when they're doing the same way. You didn't way like Derek it after White, game one. When I didn't he like was it after like game one at all. Yeah, I mean, big time player, big. Time I didn't want to get into it because we would have had a damn yeah. like twenty minute video with Noah. But yeah, I, I yeah because I just think in those moments it's super important to to give someone like that their you know Jalen their flowers. Especially, especially the day after a snub. Especially the day after a snub. Now he did comment on it, obviously saying he didn't agree with it. Jalen should have been all NBA. So yeah, I mean. That, that's something that um, I think Tatum is, is, should do, and it's good that he did that. But I wish he took it a step further. I really did, um, especially um, in the playoffs, to do it on this stage. I mean, to tie his uh, playoff career high in points, but just overall, what he's been doing throughout the entire playoffs on both ends of the floor uh, in terms of his efficiency, in terms of having to defend at a high level, it, he, he checked all the boxes in this game. And, yeah, it's un, it's unfortunate. I, I'm just I'm, – I'm trying to figure it out. You know, is it – He's trying to be a, a leader in the sense of, hey, we don't just highlight one player. But I, I thought this would be one of the nights that he he would make an exception. I'm surprised he didn't. Yeah, I, I it's feel, weird. I feel similar. It, it is weird. I don't and think it's beef. Maybe you know, it doesn't before matter. Before people jump the gun here and everyone in the comment section say, like, oh, here we go uh, about these guys thinking that Tatum and Brown. Oh, I don't. I don't think it's beef. I don't think it's anything like that. But it's weird that you don't go out of your way to say like, hey, man, this guy's been killing it. I don't understand why he wasn't all NBA. But, man, what he's doing right now is unbelievable. And you don't have to go this far, but the guy on the other side, you know, and Halliburton made it all NBA. Like you Jaylen said, did, you know? if equal opportunity offense keeps pushing it in Brad's direction, fine. I don't need the quotes. I don't need the yeah. commentary there. Uh, because they'll and be producing need on the court. Too. Like, yeah. I don't think this is a matter of, oh, well, Jalen's going to start sticking it up now because he's so mad that Tatum. No, no, no. Like, they, they, both these guys are mature beyond the point of uh, of needing that, needing to hear one another hand each other flowers you know and maybe that's a part of it as well like they've they rarely have done that in in, well, in in a big way so tatum is keep staying the uh you know staying the course right well, now. somebody's gonna do it so i guess it'll be us i and guess it's us yeah the voters too yeah. if that comes down to it and east finals mvp it's jalen brown right now uh, now that they have that award it I should be going that, to him uh, sure. we are also brought to you by pxg it's summertime go outside and get your great leisure wear for the golf course on and off the course you'll be feeling good and if you're on the course, you'll be playing good if you feel good. And that's what PXG allows you to do. Head over to pxg.com uh, slash garden report and get a discount on your first order. Uh, again, pxg.com slash garden report. He's Joe Sway Pavone. I'm Bobby Manning. We're off to Indiana. So stay tuned to our coverage. We're back. We were there for All Star. Now we're back to the East Finals. Yes, sir. Uh, looking forward to game three. Saturday night, 8 30, another late one. So make sure you follow all our coverage before. Leading up to and after the game, I'm Bobby Manning. This has been a late night edition of the Garden Report. Joseph Pavone here, CLNS Media. And if you made it this far, that means you really like this video. So hit subscribe. Make sure you keep our notifications on, damn it. And we got plenty of uh, great content coming your way.